Hmm? And if I am, what is it to you? Listen, I know you mean well, but not now. Please, not now. Huh, help. Who are you, Lorem Waterblade reincarnated? Aye, maybe you could help me, but I think we both know what that really means. You want money. Everyone wants money. It's all that keeps this bloody world moving. That bastard golfer proved it. <sighs> I shouldn't talk like this to you. But still, please, just let me be. Just go. Uh-huh. Now, I just put them out for you to look at. Tell me what you need, and be quick about it. Walk bliss. I have books, scrolls, poke. Hmm? That? By Malthus, where did you get that? You didn't buy it from that cutthroat, did you? Please, let me see it. I... I need to know it's real. Thank you. By the name of the sun, yes, that's hers. And Vera was right. What? No, Bella, she was my daughter. She left us one moon's turn and a day ago now. Flesh maggots, she... Ah. A week before we found out, she had met this young man, you know? Oh, you should have seen her. There was so much life in her, so much joy. And then, all of a sudden, no, it just isn't fair. You did. I'm sorry to hear that. She was a poet, you know. She could play the lute and sing like no other. And she even taught herself how to write. Vera, my companion, and I, we thought she would one day travel through the lands and become a bard. Ah, oh, what am I saying? I'm sure you have better things to do than listen to me grieving. But, in case you want to know how her loot ended up in that bastard's hands, we had debts. And only three weeks after Bella left us, a Duneville caravan that carried a year's load of iron for us got robbed. But of course, neither that nor our loss made any difference to that cutthroat golfer, and he threatened to get me thrown into jail if I wouldn't pay by the first day of Star Summer Night. Well, I suppose you can connect the dots for yourself. The loot was precious, and we didn't have a choice. But still, it felt like selling a part of her. And until now, we had nothing left of her, save for the casket. Yes, that's very generous of you, really. Thank you. Her treasure chest, that's what she called it. She kept her songs and poems in there, and she would never show anything to anyone unless she considered it perfect. You know how poets are. And now she's gone, and only she knows how to open the casket. Aye, I should. But the casket was a present I made for her myself, and I made the lock special. It's a complicated mechanism, but, simply put, there are four bolts that need to be pushed in a certain order, and only then will it open. Of course, I could smash it, but who knows what would happen to her things. If I somehow destroyed them, I would never forgive myself. Yes, left, right, left, down. But that's not all. The bolts have to be pushed twelve times. Aye, I'm quite sure she did. Vera and I have ideas as to where, but at the moment I can't afford to spend a single day without work. Look, you... you were very generous to me. I know it's a lot to ask for, but do you think you could help us find the other hints? Ah, thank you. I'm not asking this lightly, but you seem like a good fellow, and that is rare these days. Bella loved this book of poetry, The Red Ballads. And there was one particular edition she always rented from the Ark Library. I hardly have any coin left to borrow it, but I'm almost sure she left a hint there. Aye, there was a place Bella always visited when she had spare time. She worked on her poems there, I think. It's not far from the harbour. Do you have a map? There. If she left another clue, it must have been there.
Hmm? Yeah? What do you want? Hmm? I see. Vera was the one who thought of looking inside that book. I'm glad she did. Aye, I thought so. Well, we have all three clues now. Come on in, let us try it. Malfassi's blessings. Hard times, these are. Hard times. What let's... Hmm? Huh? Can I help you? I hope the new tenant comes soon. Here, that's the casket. Left, right, left, yes, that sounds good. Yes, it worked, by the righteous path, it worked. Yes, this is just like you, isn't it? This is you. I know I've said this a hundred times before, but again, thank you, thank you for all this. To read these lines, it's as if she, as if she were here. Only for a moment, but still. I promise to compensate you for your efforts. I think I could teach you a thing or two about my craft, about locks. Or maybe I can give you a more general tip. What do you say? All right, let me think. When crafting something, whatever it is, most people make the mistake of immediately turning all their attention to the details. You shouldn't do that. Make a rough draft and keep an eye on the big picture. That will improve the quality of your work a lot. Now, I would appreciate it if you gave me some time alone. I need to talk to Vera. And I need to make sure what's in this casket doesn't get lost. Thank you again. I will never forget what you did for me.